Good evening, everyone. It's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. I was going to start Eden. Um, let me see. How do I do this? Be back. Oh, here. Instead of gloves, I'm using a plastic bag. So my hands, I don't know, I still can use these or whatever. Oh, she's got a little fuzz. So this is the Eden sculpt. Um, she doesn't have a tongue or gums, but she can take a full um, newborn pacifier. So um, she is a silicone. She's the Eco 20 by, um, she is, um, the kit uh, is by Hope Mason. And yeah, she's a silicone kit. So I've got some string wrapped around and and I uh, this is just from a coated um, coat um, what's that called <laughs> coat hanger. Sorry, I'm having a hard time like thinking right now. Um, anyhow, so I'm going to show you how I prep her, and I'd like to document how I paint her as well. So I'm just gonna put her back for now. This is just a um, shoe rack that I found at the dollar store that I use for a, a hanger and then this is also from the dollar store that I keep um, paints and whatnot in. Um, but anyhow, so we're going to use some, um, this is medical gauze. Uh, as you can see it comes in a roll and I just trim off some and then I fold it and I'll show you how I fold it actually because there are, you know, frayed ends. So I just kind of fold in the ends a bit on both sides and then I fold it in half and then that way the frayed part is in and I just give it another fold like so. Nothing fancy, it just keeps, you know, the, the kit as lint-free as possible. So I already started one um, because I was, I had just started and I thought, wait a minute, I should get, or, you know, document the video. So, I'm just going to hold her with my one hand in plastic and then I'm going to, um, let me see, oh, I should show you what I have. Patio. So this is what I'm using for the NAFTA. Um, I don't know where to buy just NAFTA. This says it has NAFTA in it. Somewhere. Oh, this isn't the English side of it. Okay, so at the top there it says first first aid treatment. If you can, if it'll focus. Maybe not. If I maybe just put my arm behind and then it can has to focus here. I don't know, it's still... Maybe you can read it. Yeah, there we go. So anyhow, I'm using this for my NAFTA. Which I'm going to clean the kit first. So I've just kind of put a little bit of holes on the top. And then I just place... I don't know if you can... Yeah. Place and then give it a quick once over and then I'm just going to go all over the whole baby with this really well just to remove any um <laughs> that looks funny any of the like mold demolding type stuff that kind of thing so I'm just making sure oh, there's a little hair here you gotta make sure you get all the little hairs off. And they just wanna keep sticky. Okay, so anyhow, we're just gonna go over her whole head. I mean, this dries pretty quick, so then I'm just gonna grab a bit more. And she does have a bit of a boo boo here. I don't know, I didn't do this. So I don't know um, if the poor, if she had a boo-boo and tried to fix it, I'm not sure. I paid full price for this and I wasn't told about that, so don't know. 
they just always tell you no silicone is perfect, so I don't know. But I'm hoping it'll just cover once I add paint, so we'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna put her back here. See if I can turn her a little bit. You can kind of see her. And she does have full, she has full arms and full legs. And she's very bendy. I'm using artificial light for this because it is in the evening that I decided to start, which is fine. I'm not doing a whole lot of painting, so it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm just trying to clean her arm as best as I can. Here's another, like, I don't know if it's a little boo-boo spot. I'm just like, I wanted to do all these, like, document um, everything with, especially silicone since they're so expensive. This does have a little bit of a red tone to it. It doesn't dye the silicone at all. Only silicone sticks to silicone, so it's fine. But it does dye my little gauze. Okay. Let's put that there. You don't need a towel underneath. I just kind of have that there for when I wash them. And then the water can accumulate on the towel instead of just on top of that plastic tote. Hopefully I'm within camera, you guys. You can see what's going on. A little bit more. Kind of like little bubble looking things in the hand. Looking over that. Oops. This hand is open as well as you can see. Very floppy. I would be very careful with those little fingers. I think that they can be reattached if, you know, somehow one came off. I'm just going to repeat with the toes and the feet too are nice and they're all separate. I might have some, excuse me, and these are front loading legs, full front loading legs I should say. Um, but yeah, I might, I might have some little flip flops that will work for this little one. I don't know, I'm, I'm seeing boy right now, even though the kit is Eden, but I, I'm seeing boy right now, so we'll see. And I'm going to make this an African skin tone baby. African American will have a darker, nice, rich skin tone. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So I've got my, my paints. Out. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see them there in the, over here. The paints are out in the background. Just wanting to get in between each of those toes. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so, put that little foot there. Kind of like to turn around. So that the feet are, the toes are out this way. I guess you can see them in the background. Oops. Got a little too much that time. That's okay though. It evaporates really fast, which is good. We're gonna be doing a layer of rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, the knee looks like a smiley face. Can you see that? That's so cute. 
And then, so, okay, make sure I clean the little knee really well. And in between the toes. These toes are also separated. And the nails are really nice and big as well. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's trying to, there we go. Trying to focus on the background. It's got like a little T shape down the middle of the foot. And the heel. I like how the heel has some definition in it. I don't know. There. You can kind of see that there's definition in the heel bone there as well. Okay, now I'm going to grab... I'm just going to toss that over to the side for now. And put the lid back on my nafta so it doesn't all evaporate. So now... I've got 99%. This is rubbing alcohol. There we go. Um, well, it says, I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, so this is what I use to wipe down the kits. To pr this is the prepping for painting, of course. I don't know if I mentioned that. Before. So I just have a hole poked out, and I've got my freshly um, folded gauze. And I'm just going to grab her head again and then just wipe the whole thing down with this as well to remove any residue of the nafta. Get in her little nose, inside her little mouth, and around her ear everywhere. I'm trying to work fast so this video isn't like super long or anything. And this will dry quickly as well because it's 99%. I'm hoping those holes will cover over, I don't know. I mean they will, but I mean I hope they blend. And there was even a spot here. Yeah, you can see it on the forehead. I didn't see this before when I did the box opening, so I didn't, or at least I didn't notice. I think I was just too excited. Little hairs on here now. Um, so there is kind of like a staticky sound when I clean these babies, so I think that could be from the gauze, I don't know. But then every little hair wants to stick. So I'm trying to keep as much fuzzies away from the silicone. Oh, and if you're going to use, I've got ribbon, just like cloth ribbon, and then I tie it in a bow, and that way I can use or reuse them and stuff. I was using rubber bands, but uh, no latex with silicone or it won't dry. So I always say that silicone is allergic to latex. So no latex whatsoever around the silicone. Okay, take that. Oops. same thing for the rest of the limbs. And this will dry really fast. It is hot in here, but it's also, like I said, 99%. So 99% will dry rather quick. Just want to make sure I get in those creases and around each of the fingers. Now the leg. Want my um, gauze 
this is starting to gray a little bit. I was worried I'm going to lose that hook and I don't want it to go falling on the floor. Make sure you get the creases really well also. She's got a spot here too. I don't know if you can think it'll show up, but just a little spot. I said that one it should cover. Can't remember what kit I had it one of the earlier ones that I've painted and it came with a few spots here and there that I had to fill in as well. And she was a preemie. And so, you know, more red anyway, so it just all blended really well with her, so. I'm hoping with the darker skin tone, this one will also blend really nice. It fell on the table and not on the floor. Okay, so I think that little one is done. I seem to put this hook back on. Okay, so I'm gonna call this. Um, part one, her prepping, um, yeah, part one prepping probably, and yeah, so, and I'll come back in the next video and we'll start the first layer.